The United States has a long and proud history of liberal arts education. Yet the values of these programs have been called into question in recent years. Some critics have charged that, in an age of high unemployment, liberal arts offerings should be replaced by academic programs with a clearer path to employment. But when we look to other parts of the world, we see that liberal arts programs are expanding. Why? Educators there have found that analytical thinking, problem solving, and communication skills, hallmarks of a liberal arts education, are lacking in the workforce. The reason that liberal arts colleges are still very effective in delivering the kind of results we do is that our faculty are here to teach. Our faculty are here to work with the whole person. We are not in a situation where we have very narrow specialties where that is what our faculty are concentrating on. We truly focus on the student at a liberal arts college. A liberal arts program prepares students for a wide variety of 21st century careers. Greensboro College in North Carolina, for example, features a rigorous liberal arts curriculum that dates back 175 years to the college's founding in 1838. Greensboro offers 39 undergraduate majors and four master's degrees, and its curriculum and service opportunities prepare students for productive roles in their professions and communities. An affiliation with the United Methodist Church allows students to continue their spiritual development at the private residential college. Well, one of the major factors why I chose this small liberal college versus a big university is the small classrooms. I love the fact that we have small classrooms. Small classrooms, you get to know the teacher, the teacher knows you. It's a great rapport, a great relationship between you and the teacher. Honestly, I tell everybody, it's the perfect college. You get a great education, the professors, the advisors, the faculty, they provide a pathway for you so you can excel and succeed in life. Liberal arts colleges generally offer small class sizes, individual attention from teachers, and a strong sense of community. In the case of Greensboro College, students also experience the unusual combination of a small, historic campus located within a big city. They can travel from dorm to classroom on campus in minutes, and they can easily access the internships, restaurants, shopping, arts, theater, and sports in the surrounding city. Yeah, well, one of the things that's so special and unique, I think, about Greensboro College, particularly a small liberal arts college like this, is its proximity to our downtown, our central business district. They've got easy access to a variety of professional positions immediately downtown because that's the center of our banking and finance uh, industry. It's the center of our court system. And so it's an easy uh, walk to get uh, close to all those uh, professional jobs. There's no doubt that liberal arts colleges face challenges in a difficult economy at home and a competitive global market. Colleges such as Greensboro must show that they provide a vibrant learning environment, combining academic programs, religious activities, sports, and more, that support students' intellectual, personal, and spiritual development. And they must ensure that students leave this environment with valuable skills and knowledge to offer to potential employers and to society at large. Today at Greensboro College, about two-thirds of our students are first generation going to college. Approximately 50% qualify for the federal Pell Grant program based on need, and every year about 35 to 40% of our students are of minority status. We are not a wealthy elite institution, but we do provide that environment for a type of student who needs this kind of very individualized, universally designed program that will help them succeed and find their true potential. To learn more about Greensboro College, visit the school's website at www.greensboro.edu or call 800-346-8226.